Welcome to the Brecky Wrap. I'm Abby Phillips. Let's get into the latest from the global markets and the ASX day ahead. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 hit new highs on Friday, buoyed by President-elect Trump's proposals for tax cuts and regulatory easing. The S&P 500 gained while the Nasdaq Composite advanced and the Dow rose. Both the Dow and S&P 500 set new intraday and closing records. Chip stocks led the rally after Bloomberg reported that Biden administration was considering additional restrictions on semiconductor equipment sales to China. However, the measures were expected to be less severe than initially feared, fueling optimism in the sector. In commodities iron ore futures, contracts in Singapore rose 1.3% on Friday, marking the steelmaking materials' second consecutive weekly gain. The price rebound has driven by speculation that Beijing might need to implement additional fiscal stimulus in response to threats from Mr Trump to impose tariffs of up to 60% on Chinese goods. Looking ahead, the Australian market is expected to open higher on Monday, with the futures pointing to a 0.3% gain. The ASX is now within striking distance of an all-time high. The local share market enjoyed a strong November with the ASX 3.4% higher. Investors will be eyeing the retail sales sales figures due later today. In company news, Metcash will post its half-year results and Downer's sale of spotless New Zealand catering business to Dalton Hospitality Group. That's all from Share Cafe for now. Thanks for watching.